Save 10% with my code BOBBY10 on raw, organic, grass-fed and grass-finished freeze-dried organ meats from Grassland Nutrition. Link in the description box. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, it is that time of the week again. We're gonna react to Dr. Zakir Naik with his video Prophecies of Muhammad, peace be upon him, in the Hindu scriptures convinces a girl to enter the fold of Islam. So this video is a long time coming since I react to Dr. Zakir Naik and his video Prophet Muhammad in the Christian scriptures. You guys wanted me to finally see this one. With no further ado, let's have a look. Good evening, Dr. Zakir. My name is Jal and I work here for Emirates Bank International. My question to you is, which other religion says that they are awaiting the coming of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, other than Muslim and Christianity? Sister asked the question that which other religion besides Islam and Christianity says that Prophet Muhammad sallam, will come? Sister, besides the religion of Christianity and Islam, most, if not all, most of the religions that came before Islam prophesied about coming of the last and final messenger Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I've given a talk on Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the various world religious scriptures. Besides Christianity, you also find in Judaism about Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It's mentioned in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 18 about the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It's mentioned in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 19. In the book of Isaiah, chapter number 29, verse number 12. In the Song oh, of Solomon, chapter number 5, this, verse number 16. It's impossible. <laughs> That's the Old Testament. In the New Testament, Christianity is mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 16. Gospel of John, chapter 15, verse 26. Gospel of John, chapter 16, verse number 7. Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14. There are many verses in the Old Testament and the New Testament prophesying about the coming of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Since your name is Jal and I assume you're a Hindu sister, correct? Yes. I've even given the talk on Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in Hindu scriptures. I can give a talk for a few hours only on Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Hindu scriptures. Time will not permit me to go into it. I'll just give the references. If you read the Hindu scriptures, the Hindu scriptures are of two types. One is Smriti, the other is Shruti. Shruti means the word of God, in which you have Vedas and the Upanishad. Smriti mm -hmm. is the word of human being, in which you have Manu Smriti, you have Ramayan, Mahabharat, epics, etc. You also have the Puranas. If you read Bhavishya Purana, it's mentioned Bhavishya Purana, Parva 3, Khanda 3, Adhyay 3, Shlokas 5 to 8, which speaks about Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It's mentioned Bhavishya Purana, Parva 3, Khanda 3, Adhyay 3, Shlokas 10 to 27, talking about Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as the Malaysia. But what does it say? He's mentioned in, he's mentioned in Atharva Ved, book number 20, hymn number 21, verse number 6. Atharva Ved, book number 20, hymn number 21, verse number 7. Zakir Naik is not human. In That's impossible. Atharva Ved, book number 20, hymn number 127, <laughs> verse 1 to 14, which is called as Kuntap Suktas. Kuntap means hitting. It speaks about the coming of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That he will be the praiseworthy, he will have 60,000 enemies, etc. He is also mentioned in Rig Ved, book number 1. Chapter number 53. Okay, I have to cut it off here. It is really impressive what Dr. Zakir Naik can do here. He would be the perfect candidate for the Guinness Book of World Records with this recitation ability. But nevertheless, I do not know what those scriptures say. It would be great if he could pause for a second and actually read out the scripture. I hope he will do this in this video. He is mentioned as Ahmad, which means one who praises in Uttarchik. Mantra number 1500. It's mentioned in Indra, chapter number 2, verse number 152. Yajur Ved, chapter number 31, verse number 18. He's also mentioned okay. in Atharva Ved, book number 20, hymn number 126, verse number 1 to 14. He is called as Nara Shansa. Nar means man, person. Shansa means coming from Prashansa, praiseworthy. A man who's praiseworthy. If you translate Nara Shansa, man who's praiseworthy into Arabic, it means Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He's prophesied as Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, 
in Rigved, book number one, hymn number I'm 13, verse number guys. three. In Rigved, book number 10, hymn number 64, verse number three. And moreover, the skeptical look here with this woman reminds me of the Christian lady that had that skeptical look as well. So I'm waiting for a big surprise here. Three, you mentioned Rigved, book number two, hymn number three, verse number five. Rigved, book number five, hymn number five, verse number two. He's also mentioned Jajurubay, chapter number 20, verse 37. Jajurubay, chapter number 21, verse number 31. I can bro. go on and on and on mentioning only the references of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioned in Hindu scriptures. Due to limitation of time, I will just touch on one prophecy a little bit in more detail. He has been prophesied as the Kalki Autar. You know, when you read the Kalki Purana, book number 2, verse number 5, 7, 9, 11, 14, he is prophesied as the Kalki Autar. And it's mentioned there that his father's name will be Vishnu Yas. Vishnu means God, Yas means servant, servant of God. If you translate to Arabic, it's Abdullah. The father of the name of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was Abdullah. Okay, that is more convincing. His mother's name will be Sumati. Sumati means serenity, peaceful. If you translate to Arabic, it means Amina. The name of the mother of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was Amina. It says he will be born in a city by the name Sambala. Sambala means a place of peace and serenity. That is Makkah. He'll be born in the house of the chief of the village of Sambala. He was born in the house of Quraysh. It says he will be born on the 12th. If you clap at every point, it will go on for hundreds of class. Mashallah. <laughs> he'll be born on the 12th month of Madhav. That the 12th Rabbi Awal. It says that he will be a teacher for the whole of humanity. And we know Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was sent to the mercy of the whole of humanity. It says he'll get the first revelation in a cave known as Gare Hira. It says he will migrate northwards and come back. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam went from that Makkah to Medina northwards and came back. It says that he'll be given eight supernal qualities. It says that he'll have four companions talking about the first four Khulfa Rashidin. It says that he'll be helped with the angels in the battlefield. We know Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam held in the battle of Badr with angels. I can go on and on talking only about the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So if you're a Hindu and if you believe in the Hindu scriptures, you also have to believe the last and final avatar, the last and final messenger in Hinduism is Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. I have absolutely no way of verifying this here today in this video. I would have to read all of those Hindu scriptures and to be totally honest, I won't do that. So I would have to take his word for it. I'm not that interested in Hinduism anymore. I used to be now to unpack all the Vedas and all of those scriptures to really find out those passages would be just way too much on my time. Anyways, if we have Hindus watching, please let me know in the comment section what you guys think. However, Doctor, uh, according to Hinduism, the Kalki Avatar is still being awaited. So, are you? Uh, is it that if you are, have not just not aware about it? You said the Kalki Avatar is yet awaited. If you have not recognized the Kalki Avatar, you are to blame, not me. I've given you so It is very interesting to see that there's always a certain figure that is awaited by certain religious people, but then yet again, another later religion already received that figure. If we look, for example, into Christianity, accepting Jesus as the Messiah, the Jews, on the other hand, still waiting for that Messiah. And this, of course, could be the case with the prophecy of Prophet Muhammad. The similarities. Now you have to disprove it. You say, my scripture says Vishnu Yas, Father father's name. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's father's name was not Vishnu Yas. You have to disprove me. Now this has been done by pundits of Hinduism. Mm -hmm. Hindu scholars have also written this. Now the Hindu scholars are preventing the truth from you. They are hiding the truth from you. You as a logical girl, as intelligent girl who is working in a high post, it's your duty to realize that if your priest are hiding the truth from you, we can have a debate with your priest. You can call the doctors of divinity. You know, I have had dialogues with Pandis. You know, one of the very famous is Shri Ravi Shankar. He never disagreed. He agreed. Mm. Interesting. He agreed with what I said about oneness of Almighty God, has got no images. He believed in Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He did not accept that's a different thing because he will lose his following. Therefore, sister, do you have a following? So you have no fear to lose the following. So when I've given you so many references with giving quotations, I'm not pulling a fast one. You can very well go and check and verify. But after you verify, do you accept in the last and final messenger? 
Do you? Yes. So do you believe in Prophet Muhammad? Peace yes. be upon him. MashaAllah. That was a bit too fast. I think she was already Muslim. Do you believe that there's one God? Yes, I do. Do you believe Almighty God has got no images? Yes, I do. So you believe there's God and he has no images? Yes. And do you believe Prophet Muhammad is the messenger of God? Yes, I do. Then you're a Muslim sister. I am pretty sure that she what already was a Muslim. What you said is the Shahada in English. Do you want to repeat in Arabic if you want, sister? What you said is in English that there's no God but Allah and Prophet Muhammad is the messenger. Would you like to repeat in Arabic, sister? I do. Okay. I'll just repeat it and you have to continue, sister. Ashadu. Ashadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illa Allah. Illa Allah. Wa ashadu. Wa ashadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Abduhu. Ablu. Wa rasuluhu. Wa rasuluhu. I bet. MashaAllah, sister. Yeah, I am skeptical like that. Looking at this, if she wasn't already Muslim, she was already doing her research and she was on the brink of converting anyways. You can tell. May Allah. Mash. MashaAllah sister, may Allah reward you. You have joined a family of religion of peace of more than 1.3 to 1.5 billion. May Allah reward you and may Allah grant you Jannah inshallah. And believe me sister, it requires guts. I feel that MashaAllah, I really admire your guts more than Shri Shri Ravi Shankar MashaAllah. And I pray that may give you Hidayah and may guide you inshallah. And sister, if you have any questions, any queries, there are local organizations in Dubai who can surely clarify your misconceptions. To understand Islam, look at the Quran and the Sahih Hadith. They are the best guides. If you have any queries, you can even write to the email at islam at irf.net. It's my pleasure to reply. And do pray for me also, sister. All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. If we give her the benefit of the doubt that she really wasn't Muslim there, that she spoke her Shahada here for the first time, I, as I said, have to assume that she did her research already and this was just a formality because by her looks, you could tell that she already knows about Islam and the details of it as well. This wasn't new to her by any means. That being said, the sources of this video, I of course, course cannot confirm however if it holds true it is of course very very impressive that you have even descriptions about the names of the parents of the prophet the place in which he was born etc etc this would be extremely detailed if it is correct for that i need you guys to tell me in the comment section if those sources really are accurate or not especially cool it would be if we have hindus watching this channel all right guys but this is it for today's video if you liked it leave it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already guys please do so and if you want to support this channel via patreon for example all the links are in the description box below as always guys may god bless you all much love and peace